Here's the situation. Allied Command has ordered the full retreat of all GTVA forces. They've ridden off Gamma Draconis, so they're moving the Armada into Capella to hold down the system. Meanwhile, SOC needs a unit to fly suicide to check out a second Nasos device the Vesudans found deep in the nebula. Wonder who that be? To give us a fighting chance, oh. our unit will fly a wing of Shivan fighters SOC forces captured early in the nebula campaign. Our engineers have modified and optimized these craft. They'll handle even better than the Shivan original, Ooh. and if you play it right, you might even avoid enemy detection. <laughs> oh, we know how that turns out. We're going in with a hand-picked squad. You'll fly Alpha-1, I've got Alpha-2. Two. two of our top pilots, Zinni and Zero, will cover Alphas 3 and 4, respectively. Our Maras will be equipped with inter-system jump drives so we can use the node. Zinni and Zero being multiplayer, uh, top of the league the at the time. The time for this mission is 15 minutes. We'll jump in, gather data, hold down the fort, then jump out. Your drives will be inoperative inside a window of exactly 15 seconds. If we miss our jump, the recovery ship will leave us behind. There's no room for error. Here's something else to think about. By the time we launch, we'll be the only Allied operatives left in the nebula. There'll be no reinforcement, no support, and no base to run to. That's why this mission has to be carried out by the numbers. We have 15 minutes. No more, no less. Please review your objectives for this mission. Okay, so quite straightforward on this. And we get to fly Mara's heavy, very heavy armor and excellent maneuverability. Advanced space superiority indeed. Only two gun mounts though. Interestingly enough, uh, the Sheevan variant has much thinner armor as far as I'm aware. Uh, so it's nice to see us actually take something from them and make it better rather than being a cheap knockoff. And as you can see, very deep missile banks. And I'm afraid I'm going to be taking trebuchets on this, because we can. Thirteen in each. Yeah. This isn't even a heavy fighter. Imagine what a basilisk could carry in theory. Trouble with that, of course, is that anything in their dog could hit you. If they so much looks as you're in your general direction. Anyway, let us prepare for a nice, quiet, peaceful and relaxing mission. Ow. That worked. That was a little too close. We gotta wait 15 minutes to change our shorts. Well, we've detected a Shivan presence all right, and one more Sathan is heading for Capella. Sensors reading an unidentified object dead ahead. Shivan signature. Let's get a scan of that thing, Alpha One. We'll cover your back. This just keeps getting better. Another juggernaut has jumped in from Nelsos Three. Picking up two more unidentified objects in the immediate vicinity. What do you think they are, Commander? What, do I look Shivan to you? Uh-oh, take a look at this. Nasos device number three, 150 clicks out in right field. Where the hell are we? Okay. Something's targeting us. Luckily, we can... All units return fire. IFF status has been revised. The honeymoon is over. Repeat the honeymoon And one shot should do it. But we can. There we go. Something you got to remember is your wingmen are also in sheep and craft, so it can get a bit confusing if you don't use targeting properly. Luckily, they're in invincible for this scenario, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's good to use this craft. Hello. And just keep attacking. A lot of kills we can get here, in case you're wondering. Okay. So that we can't nail this thing. Careful not to get whacked around by now. Game's frozen. That's not good. Let's just check if Raps is still running. Yep. Hope we don't have to fix the sound or anything. Uh, command. Wings Alpha. Destroy my target. 
I'll take care of the Astaroths. Especially since you guys can't actually die, which is nice to have you along for the ride because of that. Since you're basically infinite distraction. The AI couldn't handle not being invincible in this scenario, I don't think. I'm betting you can do this on multiplayer. Must be pretty fun. Indeed. Yeah. There we go, we're clear enough. Oh, we lost uh, Zinni, I think. Well, I was pretty sure they were invincible. I'm thinking what could happen there is they could become invincible when they hit a certain value of hull integrity. And as a result, if you go below that suddenly and die as a result, then they're not protected. Oh well. We hardly knew him. Still sad, because SOC pilots are hardly a dime a dozen. Okay, and... Okay, he's proving its worth against these very slow Nahimas. Okay. Probably should get away. Or at least to my buddies. Well, I think I'm going to have to fight these guys off first. Because otherwise I'm going to have them tailing me all the way over. Which won't be pretty. To say the least. Okay, I'm going to actually make a beeline for them now. Well, this last one comes on my tail, so I have a bit more distance between me and the spawning point. Here's a safety tip for you pilots. We got ten minutes before we jump. Don't stray too far. Okay, that Nahima's going okay, off the mining firm business. Squad. Let's go for the triple play. Seek and destroy. Okay. Quite twisty missiles they have. Okay, just gotta keep destroying these devices and any fighter wings that jump in. Or bomber wings, they're sending bomber wings against us and I'm not sure why. Doesn't make much sense. Then again, quite a few things in Free Space 2 don't make any sense and I could care less. A little less. It's mostly for the explosive fighter action and the atmosphere. I don't fuss too much about story or anything like that, although it is interesting. Right. We've got another device to destroy. Ah, what's this? Uh, okay. Uh, let's take out the beam turrets with trebuchets. Everyone ignore that target. I'll take it out. Okay. And any weapon systems in view? Yes. Wise to take out the weapon systems first, of course. Not exactly sure how many rounds it will take to get rid of them. But it's not like I don't want to destroy this thing anyway, so I'm not going to hold back. Not exactly sure why they're firing at it like that. 
Okay, weapon system's gone. Okay. Everyone is ignoring the target. Keep going for things at range. to warn the Alliance. Don't do anything stupid, just stay alive. And that's a clean sweep. Nice work, Alpha Wing. Makes me proud to be SOC. Now let's get back to the node. Binary systems, give me the creeps. <laughs> yeah, that's something I forgot to notice. Okay. And let's all pile in on this thing. All fighters disarm my target. Go after weapons specifically. Okay. We have a beam turret still online, apparently. That can't be good. Okay. Let's go for the beam turret. How much long we got? We got ten minutes. We got five, five minutes. Today. So let me long enough. About twelve minutes. That's when you want to start cutting and running. Okay. Keep just pouring fire up and down this thing, draining our banks. But we can, the Mara can take this to a degree. Not for incredibly prolonged periods, but for long enough. Okay, gonna wait for it to recharge a bit. Uh, is there anything along here to target? No, it's just stuff on the other side. Ignore the target. I will finish it off. There we go. Okay, let's make our run, I guess. Eight Safanai. <laughs> How is health doing? 32% damage, 55%. Pretty good shape. I mean, we're in Terran Mara's, probably the best fighter in the game in terms of stats. Overall balance of stats. Bit subjective, I know, but I think if you took all the stats and added them together in some arbitrary fashion, it would come out on top. Uh, I was expecting a few more fighter wings. I remember them being part of this mission. I'm not sure where they've gone. Maybe they come in a little later. We've just gonna make it to the node now. Which isn't really that much of a tall order. Take a bit of gun power off since we're not facing enemies anytime soon. Or any fighters. Little anticlimactic. I was expecting a uh, even interference. I remember that cruiser. I remember Gemini keeping respawning, but I could have sworn there was a second wing that kept respawning a bit later on in the mission. But it seems that's not the case. The guys are catching up to me. Good. Expect you to catch up a bit more. Jump nodes gradually getting bigger. And we can hear the sound of the Mara nearby. Puts me on edge because it's usually a Shivan Mara. But in this case, very unusual case, it's actually Terran. Who'd have thunk it? Okay, so we've got three minutes to spare and we're back at the node already. Hmm. I always have it, remember having to make a madcap dash. Not sure what went differently on this mission. Poor Zinni got splatted. That's, that's news to me. Never happened before.
and we're inside the node. Not much we can do. We just have to wait until 15 minutes is up. That's when the lock time on our drives comes down. Let's go out the other side. Let me get a peek. Get a peek at the um, binary star that Snipes mentioned. Yeah, there we are. Quite nice. Two minutes and counting. Scramble to the node, Alpha. I'm going to scramble the other way since uh, don't feel like hanging around on that node at the moment. Aha! Uh -huh. We do have fighters on our tail. Excellent. Right. Uh, let's put some power back into guns. And finish them off. There's a node still. Air is going to respawn. Would like something to do with the last minute we have. It's odd how you can't jump out beforehand. But it's all a timed operation. Timed operation, so I'm guessing it makes sense you can't. Look at those. Oh, Designation Neberos. Hit your burners and evade. We gotta reach that jump note, kids. It's a Ravana class the destroyer, but. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's target trebuchets and the beam turrets so as to avoid too much anti-fighter fire. Now let's prepare to get out. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Jump. Alpha wing, we're in the node and drives are back online. We'll rendezvous with the recovery ship on the other side. Engage. We made it. Three out of four, at least. Outstanding job. Most pilots only fly one suicide mission. We survived what should have been our last sortie. I've advised the GTVI that multiple Juggernaut-class warships are now en route to the Capella system. We'll have our hands full getting everyone out of there alive. Great work neutralizing those Sheevan devices. We delivered a top-notch performance. Analysts are pouring over the scan data now, but you can rest assured the results will be classified beyond your level of clearance. They always are. <laughs> One more thing. We're helping to provide the Alliance with accurate and comprehensive information regarding the tactics, technologies, activities, and strategic objectives of forces hostile to the GTVA. You are hereby awarded the SOC Service Medallion, the most prestigious honor bestowed by Special Operations Command. Congratulations. It's been a privilege and an honor, pilot. Allied Command has reassigned you to the GTD Aquitaine. Rumor has it you'll be leading the 70th Blue Lions, and I can't think of a better pilot for the job. Good luck. I like that. We fly a suicide mission and we get, you know, this kind of thing. I flew this suicide mission and all I got was a lousy bottle cap. That's what it essentially is, but uh, still, quite a, quite a fun one to fly, that. Um, it's great to be able to test out the Mara, and a shame that we can't get to fly again at all in the campaign. Oh well. Total kill sta now stands at 307. I think if we reach 350, we come, become a triple ace. And uh, it'll be interesting if that happens. It's possible. It's something to keep in my sights. And uh, yeah, 50% primary hit, 48% secondary hit. Well, uh, that's interesting. Uh, I'm more accurate with my guns, usually against larger targets, than I am with my secondaries. Uh, not sure what that says about me. Anyway, if I'm playing through that very short SOC loop, apart from getting lost in that uh, nebula, of course. And I hope to see you next time for actually what will be the final set of Free Space 2 videos. It's quite a short game when you think about it, but uh, the climax is rather compelling. So, see you there.